Today is a milestone day for the country of Barbados. It is officially becoming a republic today, severing ties with the British monarchy. Thomas Degg is part of our CBC News team covering that. And as he tells us this morning, many on the island believe independence is long overdue. Well, this country is in celebration mode. Tuesday is Independence Day here in Barbados, and this year it's especially meaningful as the country becomes the world's newest republic and ditches Queen Elizabeth as its head of state. Look just over there, that is uh, the Prime Minister's office and government offices decked out in blue and yellow, uh, the official colors of Barbados. You'll see those all across the island these days ahead of the transition to a republic and celebrations here. People already on the beach, ready for uh, for the party. Uh, on these shores, in 1625, uh, the English arrived, and from the 17th to the 19th century, British elites used this island as a slave trading hub and used enslaved Africans for hard labor against their will on sugarcane plantations. Now, Barbadians feel this last step, removing Queen Elizabeth as their head of state and having their current governor general serve as their new Barbadian president, well, that, that will be the last step in removing uh, colonialism here on uh, the island of Barbados. We've been speaking with some Barbadians at a local market. Here's what they told us about this big step in their history. I think it's time we break break away from England fully and be our own. It's like a mother child. But now the child is going independence. Child's grown up. Yeah, it's grown up. It's just to know that the head of your state would be a Barbadian and, and that would be a person selected from among us. Celebrations will be a little subdued due to COVID-19. Uh, the government has been handing out these gold and blue face masks, the official colors of Barbados, as a way to make the most of it and celebrate safely. Prince Charles is here. Not everyone agrees that he should be honored as a guest of honor here of the government here in Barbados as the country removes his mother as head of state. But in any case, he will be part of celebrations tonight, midnight, as Barbados becomes a new republic. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Bridgetown, Barbados.